guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace, and if you're new here, make sure you click the red subscribe button to give the video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the um, ordinary natural moisturizing factor. This is a moisturizer that I recently got. I only used it one day, but I'm already obsessed. So if you want to see my opinion, how I apply it and everything, please keep watching. So this is from the ordinary. It is the natural moisturizing factor plus HA. HA that means hyaluronic acid. So it has hyaluronic acid in it for extra benefit. I already have the hyaluronic acid serum. If you want an extra boost of moisture, you can just apply it before and then apply your moisturizer after just so the hyaluronic acid has something to really suck up. So, so this says apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration. If irritation occurs, cease use and consult um, physician. So this can last you 12 months. Like on the back, we have a jar with 12 months on it. And this is a hundred milliliters. It looks like this. That is what the texture looks like. And applying it on my hand, it really soaks into your skin and you need a tiny bit. Like I use like this much for my whole face so I can tell that this will last me months and months. And I already used it today after my ascorbic acid serum that is a vitamin C serum with alpha arbutin I just recently started using. But applying it on my hand, you can already see that it's really soaking into the skin and it's super moisturizing. I have oily skin, like my T-zone is usually oily on my forehead. And my chin is not oily, but um, and then at night I like to add a moisturizer, you know, just after my serum. I used to use the how is it called? The Inculist A, B, and C, or what it's called, or C, D, and E, some kind of moisturizer. I forgot the name. I'm so sorry. But I used to use that moisturizer, and it wasn't the best. It was like an eh moisturizer. I didn't see a big difference or feel a big amount of moisture. And with that, I actually need a little bit more to apply on my face. But with this one, you actually don't need a lot. And you have a whole tube. I think this was $8. We're going to look at the price in a bit. But it was, you get a big amount for a, a, a good price. They also have this in smaller sizes, like a 30 milliliter one. Um, but I recommend the 100 milliliter, 100 milliliter one like this. Um, because the prices, I think it varies like $1 difference, but you get like three times the, the amount. So I recommend this one instead of the smaller one. Even if you just want to test it out, you can just give this to a family member because it's super cheap. Um, as you guys can see, it doesn't leave a oily feeling or oily base. It's not shiny. It's not shiny at all. No no shiny layer it sinks into the skin i've washed my face with the shea moisture african black soap if you haven't seen that video make sure you watch that it's a super good soap and then i use the ascorbic acid after and then apply this moisturizer um the ascorbic acid is for my dark spot i actually have a few dark spots and i want to just get rid of it and i just recently got a few products i also got the lactic acid i have been using the lactic acid in the past I'm also going to make a video. It's the lactic acid 10%. I used the lactic acid 5% in the past, but enough of that. We're going to look at the price on Sephora. I'm looking on my phone at Sephora, and the 30 milliliter is $5.80, and the big one is $7.70. So it kind of differs like a $2, $1.90. Um, it kind of yeah a kind of a 190 difference for that 190 I would go with the the big one because it's like three times the amount because the small one is 30 milliliters and the big one is hundred milliliters so it's definitely a steal this is vegan without silicones alcohol free community favorite and also gluten free and it's for every single skin type normal oily combination dry and sensitive and this doesn't sting or anything. It doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't flake or anything. So I would, I really like it. I really like it. And it says on the Sephora side, this is a hydrating formula with amino acids, dermal lipids, and hyaluronic acid. 
and this is a solution for dryness so if you have dry skin i would recommend to use the hyaluronic acid serum with this moisturizer because this moisturizer gives you moisture but if you want like extra boost you can use it with the hyaluronic acid like the pure serum from the ordinary because it will really soak the, the moisturizer into your skin if you're really suffering from dry skin or something this is non-greasy hydration that acts as a direct topical supplement of natural moisturizing factor components it contains 11 amino acids phospholipids alpha beta gamma fatty acids bro that's a lot triglycerides sterols sterol esters glycerin ceramide precursors urea bro that's a lot sodium pca saccharides offering immediate hydration and last long lasting results with continuous use um, and how to use this is basically simple after your serum any type of serum if you're using the niacinamide and want to follow up with this one then you use it or if you're using the ascorbic acid or any type of serum um, make sure you do a patch test before you try it maybe like on your palm or something with and without the serum to see if it flakes for you um, it might flake with another serum for another brand so make sure you test it out to see if it works well and looking at the reviews, a lot of people like it. Um, they said it's a very good combo for acne prone skin. It's a great light moisturizer and I agree. It's a great light moisturizer and also on, in the description it says a non-greasy formula which I totally agree with. It's not greasy at all. Somebody said I love this moisturizer. I have oily skin and this is absolutely amazing. It moisturizes my skin and it makes my skin feel soft. It absorbs really quickly and doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy. I, rec I like, I'm totally agreeing with everything this person said. So, with that being said, um, I would definitely recommend this moisturizer. This is a super good moisturizer. Even if you're just starting off with your basic um, skincare routine, this is just a good moisturizer. But it has good ingredients in it. So, yeah definitely recommend this um, and make sure if you want to get this just buy the big one instead of the small one i will leave a link in the description from sephora if you want to get this one but yeah that was basically my quick review about this good moisturizer if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell beside it so you'll be notified whenever i post a new upload and i will see you guys in my next video bye